Morning, Chief Free in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Well, it's Friday. A lot of people will probably be relieved because of the sharp losses that we've seen, especially in soybeans and corn over the last uh, week or so. I think the bean market's still concerned about trade issues with China, uh, corn and beans both seeing a sell-off because uh, right now U.S. Uh, corn and soybean crop conditions are rated the best ever. Two-week weather forecast doesn't really call for any weather problems, so it's hard to hold the market together, and the funds continue to liquidate out of their long positions, not only because of the trade issues and the weather issues, but also the charts look bad, and going below support triggers not only that they should be out of their long positions, but actually as momentum traders should actually think about going short positions. June is never really the good time of the year to be trading on the long side uh, with weather, especially with rains around the Midwest, and temperatures not really that hot. The key will be next week, USDA's report, will they find anything positive there? Then as we move into July and August, what kind of weather changes are we expecting? You still have a few crop weather watchers that think we might go into a drier and warmer pattern, so we'll see what happens down the road. G7 meeting not really getting off to a good start. Still a lot of uh, complaints about uh, the President of the United States tariffs, and um, there is talk the President might even leave the summit early. Next week he'll be visiting with North Korea, and we'll see what happens out of that. Um, expectations are probably a little bit higher than reality at this point, but uh, it is a start. The dollar is higher, most commodities are lower, and the grains are kind of following. It is interesting that um, grains are trying to bounce back over last night's lows. Uh, could be consideration that the market is oversold. Yesterday's export sales data, uh, for the most part, was good for corn, but not for beans and wheat, and that adds also a little pressure into the marketplace. So now we're kind of below what some people think psychologically is support in corn and beans, and we'll see how long we stay below these prices. Wheat market still continues in an uptrend, supported by some dry weather in Russia and uh, Eastern Europe, but also could be drugged down because of the lower commodity prices, higher dollar, and lower grain prices. As always, these are my thoughts, not those of ADM Radio Investor Services, and have a safe and profitable trading day.